Hi, I'm Andy Mattingly with the Be Smart Money Minute powered by Forum Credit Union. I'm going to give you five steps to follow to make sure that Black Friday doesn't bust your budget. November is the time that you really should start planning for your holiday shopping. And to make sure that your budget doesn't get out of control, I have five easy steps that you can follow to make sure that Black Friday, or especially Cyber Monday, those four days, doesn't get your budget completely out of whack. So first, let's start with setting a budget. You need to look at how much you have in savings, how much you think you can really add to your credit card, and get a total budget for all the gifts and everything else you need to buy for the holidays. So that's your first step. The second step then is to look at everyone that you think you need to buy for and write their name down or put it in a spreadsheet. This could be family, friends, service professionals, anything of that nature, anyone you want to buy a gift for. And then you need to put down how much you want to spend for each person. After you've done that, add up the total and make sure that total equals or is less than the total budget that you started with. Now the third step is, and this is all before we get to the shopping day, is for each person start looking at ideas online for what you want to buy them. So have two or three things that you might buy for them that's within your budget. If you decide that you need to pay something more for someone else, then you need to reduce an expense for another person so you stay on your budget. Shopping day rolls around, Black Friday. When you take off to do your shopping, make sure you take your list and a notepad to do a quick budget on so that as you buy things and cross those names off with all the different things that you've purchased. The final tip I have for you is if you plan to buy things for yourself, make sure you put that in your budget item. One of the reasons that people go way over on their holiday spending, it's not what they spend on others, it's on all the sales of the things that they buy for themselves that they didn't plan for, they don't keep track of it, and it really moves their budget way above where they could really be. So if you follow these five steps, you're gonna be in great shape for Black Friday. And I'll give you one bonus tip. If you do the first three steps and you see that you're under budget, then you can buy more things for yourself. And sometimes a motivated shopper is a lot more savvy than one who just spends whatever they want. That's been the Be Smart Money Minute powered by Forum Credit Union.